Hey guys, so tonight we're going to try the QHY 715C again, uh, but this time on a deep sky object. We tried this camera already on the moon last time, but this time it's something different. Wow, so exciting, right? Yeah, and uh, we are doing this video because we saw that Queen did it, so we're like, why don't we try that? And he got M101, so we're going to see what we can get. And Quiv lives in Tokyo, which has the same uh, light pollution as here, including almost the same uh, heat as well. So uh, we'll have the same conditions and see if we can get... I don't want to get the same thing. It's like thing. a cross uh, episode. <laughs> well, well, we'll try something new. We'll try a, a nebula instead and uh, we'll see. Because I, I know the pinwheel is probably a good target for this situation, but I have no idea about nebulae. So we'll try and, and cross our fingers. Let's go. So we want something that's not too large because the camera we're going to be using here has very small pixels. So the field of view is very small, very narrow. So we want something bright enough that's not too big so it just fits nice. I'm thinking of going with M27. I think it's bright enough. So the Dumbbell Nebula. Uh, I was thinking the Ring Nebula, but I think the Ring is way too hard to process for, for this camera at least. Yeah. So it's a bit too risky. We'll try the Dumbbell Nebula and see if we can get anything. If we can't, so in advance, we'll try our best and um, see what happens. Okay, so I'm just putting the camera in now. And I believe the adapters I have here should be perfectly fine. Okay. To complicate our task, the moon is almost full right now. Plus, it is a very hot night. It took me a long time to get close enough to our target because the plate solving was not working. This is because I never downloaded the right catalog for this type of close-up field of view. So I can already see the Dumbbell Nebula on the guide camera. It's on a small guide scope and guide camera is right here. Very nice. I was able to spot M27 on the 50mm guide scope slash cam. Then I just slowed around slowly until it appeared on the QHY 750's field of view. Once centered, we were good to go. I set up the sequence to take 10 second exposures, dither every 5 frames unguided, refocus every hour and shoot 3000 frames. I then launched it and went to bed, thinking I would wake up with some exciting data. So because of the dithering going on all night, I only kept just like one or two hours of data because all the other files were not centered anymore. And sadly, the plate solving was failing during the night. So there was no way for the target to recenter each time. So with tears, I had to delete thousands of files. Uh, luckily, I did a test with whatever was remaining, which is a total of 143 files, and uh, it looks okay. I mean, there is no docs, nothing, so it looks like it's possible. So I'm going to keep shooting tonight and uh, try to find a way to keep centering it manually each time, and we'll see what happens. I will also be sure to include docs next time, and hopefully it's going to fix all these weird lines. On the second night, I started from scratch and simply activated guiding, so that I would be sure that the target would stay centered. Everything was perfect and I went to bed once again thinking I would wake up with some exciting data. Of course, the external hard drive failed and was completely empty. I had to format the hard drive and start from scratch yet again. Okay, third night. Now everything better be okay. Of course, there were some passing clouds that night and the moon was full by now. But at least everything went fine and I was able to get 2 hours of good data. As you can see here, M27 stayed somewhat centered the whole time. So I forgot to take docs last night and docs are very very important for um, this camera because there's no cooling uh, system. So I'm taking docs now, I'm taking 30 of them. Um, I'm hoping this is the same temperature as it was outside. It feels like it, so hopefully. Um, but yeah, hopefully he's gonna be fine, but I should really have taken them last night. So I took 30 darks and stacked all of the 926 files together. It took my computer more than 9.5 hours to stack everything, which is nuts. 
I went ahead and processed the data the next morning and got something that is honestly not bad at all. Okay, so Dahlia could not really make it in this video. Uh, she's behind the camera right now. But yeah, the end result is amazing considering the bottle line, the full moon, uh, the uncooled camera. The price for deep space is really crazy. So I'm really, really impressed with uh, this little camera right here that's almost 200 bucks. And uh, for deep sky, you can even use that. And Quiv did a really nice M101, which you can see right here. And if we compare the M101 and our M27, they're both great. I mean, they're both uh, impressive for this camera. I mean, you know, now that you're there by yourself, you know, we you should copy Quiv's um, his thumbnail. The thumbnail? What's his thumbnail? He's wearing like a oh, blue yeah. shirt. Let's try to recreate uh, Quiv's thumbnail. See what happens. Just tell me how to do it. Hold on. Ah! No, you stay there. Wait, wait. I think it's like this. Let me check online. Just tell me how to pose. Okay. Um, like wait, wait, wait. Don't do it yet because you have to change your shirt. Okay, blue shirt. Okay, blue shirt. Blue shirt. Camera in hand. Uh, do the next? Right hand. Okay, closer. Clo a little closer. Um, hold it underhand. Like, yeah, like that. And then point at it, but don't use any finger to point. Use your whole entire, all your finger. Yeah. I don't know why he's pointing with all of his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and from the corner of the screen. Yes. Uh, but then you have to block your face and Wait. move the QHY. Should my face be blurry now? Yeah, a little higher. Because we have to focus on the QHY. Hold on. Isn't it like this? Yeah, you gotta be a little closer. Like this? No, higher. Yeah. And, uh, I'm hot, hurry. Turn your head this way. No, 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 just tilt it. Sorry. The other <laughs> way. <laughs> a little higher on this hand. No, too high. Hurry, I'm hot. <laughs> this hand is too low. Diagonal. There you go. Wait. <laughs> Push it farther away. No! Yeah. <laughs> Push this hand farther away. And this hand I'm burning. in front of your face. Wait. This hand is higher? This way? A little... Uh, a little How do we go from this to this? <laughs> okay. Turn the AC on. Jeez. Wait, turn the AC on. Okay, now I can see myself. I'm gonna face this to you because now you can see yourself. Uh, clearly, I'm not that good of a... Okay, player. now I can see myself. Okay, it's like this. I can cut my hand, whatever. All my fingers, like this. I have to be blurry. Can you tap on the camera to focus on the camera? Yeah, hold on. But like this. Yeah, like this. Tap on the camera. Okay. Show me, show me, show me quick. Show me, a, show me the picture, show me the picture. Tilt your head this way. <laughs> oh, it's this way. Okay, tap on the camera fast. This is probably the most teamwork we've done in a while. Okay, I think it's good. Yay! Oh, I'm hot. <laughs> I just have to add a telescope behind me. And that's it. Uh, thanks to the homie Queef for uh, inspiration. All right. So yeah, uh, good camera. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time. And uh, nice. we'll have a link below for the camera if you want it.